In automotive electronics, functionality is provided by multiple software tasks running on individual microprocessors within the electronic control units, or ECUs. For the overall system to behave correctly, every task must meet its time constraints. For example, a task may be required to run every 20 milliseconds, read and process data from sensors, and output its results within a specified deadline. When there are multiple tasks with different periods and deadlines running on the same microprocessor, a real-time operating system is needed to schedule when each task should run. The challenge here comes in two parts. The first is real-time behavior. It is essential that all of the tasks are guaranteed to always meet their deadlines during operation. Otherwise, the system may suffer from intermittent timing faults that compromise its reliability. This challenge is impacted by the behavior of the real-time operating system, its runtime overheads, and the scheduling and resource sharing policies that it implements. The second part of the challenge is to do with memory. Since both RAM and flash memory are expensive in terms of silicon area, it is essential that the memory footprint of the operating system is minimized. This allows microprocessor variants to be used that have less memory and a lower overall cost. This small difference in unit cost, multiplied by millions of units in a production run, can lead to substantial savings for the automotive manufacturer. In the 1990s, the Real-Time Systems Group here at the University of York developed a set of schedulability analysis techniques referred to as response time analysis. These mathematical methods are applicable to real-time systems that use fixed priority scheduling. They're used to calculate the longest time that can elapse from a task becoming ready until it completes execution. This is known as the worst case response time and is used to determine if a task can be guaranteed to always meet its deadline. This analysis was tailored to account for the various different timing behaviours of tasks in automotive systems, as well as the overheads of a well-designed real-time operating system. As a result of this research, in 1997, I was involved in setting up a startup company with the aim of developing a real-time operating system and associated schedulability analysis tools specifically for automotive applications. We succeeded in our design goals, ensuring that our operating system had radically smaller memory and execution time overheads than any other commercial automotive OS, and that our real-time architect tools which implement response time analysis could fully analyse systems built using the OS. The operating system was called RTA OSEC and was one of the first to comply with the OSEC automotive standard. In 2003, the company was bought by ETAS, a subsidiary of Robert Bosch. The reason for the trade sale was that Bosch had benchmarked the RTA OSEC operating system and found that it was significantly more efficient than ETAS's own automotive operating system. Rather than attempt to write a new operating system from scratch, ETAS chose to buy the company, bringing RTA technology and the engineering team in-house. Today, ETAS sells two versions of the operating system, RTA OSEC and RTA OS, which meets the newer Autosar standard. The operating system is available for over 25 different microcontroller families from a wide range of manufacturers. Today, the automotive electronics market is both huge and highly competitive, with electronics contributing more than 30% of the overall vehicle production costs. The world's leading automotive manufacturers and Tier 1 suppliers have adopted the RTA OSEC and RTA OS operating systems. They have done so for the substantial benefits it brings in terms of reduced unit costs in production due to the lower memory footprint, and the fact that the very low operating system overheads provide scope for functionality to be added without the need for costly hardware upgrades. The proven real-time analysis techniques have also reduced the system integration time, the testing effort and improved safety and reliability. As an indication of the level of impact of this technology, there are more than one billion copies of the operating system driving on the road today. An added benefit of the transfer of this technology has been the creation and sustaining for more than 15 years of a large number of high technology jobs in York, many of which have been taken by graduates from the University of York. Automotive systems are now moving towards implementations on multi-core hardware. The availability of such high-performance multiprocessors 
means that it's now cost effective to integrate different applications that would otherwise have run on independent ECUs onto the same hardware platform. These different applications have different criticality levels, which leads to a host of interesting problems. Mixed criticality systems are currently a hot topic in real-time systems research. The Real-Time Systems Group at York is a world leader in this area, with a number of projects funded by both the UK EPSRC and the EU. The group continues to have close ties with ETAS, who act as industrial advisors on these projects, as well as sponsoring research students.